Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here at the uh, SC11. And I'm at the Inside HPC booth with Domenico. He's going to do a very special live performance for us all. We've got an audience here. This is very exciting. So, Domenico, what exactly are you going to show us? So, uh, I'm going to show a, uh, <clears throat> a data sonification example, so a music example of how uh, anything, in this case, uh, it is just Twitter, um, Twitter feeds um, can be actually translated into uh, into music, into something that can be um, can be enjoyable, that can be can be listened to. And I'm using a technique which is called data sonification, which is something uh, people are normally using uh, scientifically to listen to um, scientific data, to uh, do data analysis using our ears instead of our eyes. This is just an uh, artistic. Um, utilization of the same principle that scientists are, are using every day in their labs. Okay, so this is a way to represent big data through sound. Is that fair? Yes, okay. exactly, yeah. exactly, okay. exactly. It's another way to represent data. Uh, instead of using graphs or points on a, on a map, we are using sounds, notes on a, on a score, and we are using sounds. Okay, so where are the notes going to be coming from, from Twitter? Is it everything that's being said about SC11? Is that the idea? Yes, exactly. The idea is that we uh, we were uh, taking data, we are taking tweets from uh, 11 to 12 a.m. today. So everybody uh, that contributed during that, uh, that hour will have their part in the, uh, in the music they are going to, we are going to play. So everybody uh, <coughs> can have his own tweet uh, okay. being converted into sound. And what, what they've done, uh, is, uh, as I'm going to explain in a few seconds, is using the uh, re European grid infrastructure in, uh, in Europe and using that advanced uh, research and education network uh, in Europe, which is called GEANT, in the US called the uh, Internet2, to uh, transfer the data to Europe, convert them into music, and ship the music back here, mix it, and just play uh, live from our, from our desk. Very impressive. That's going to happen. Okay, so a worldwide grid of data going back and forth where we've crowdsourced the uh, the musical note. Exactly, yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to get out of the way, and thanks, everybody. Domenico. <coughs> well, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I, I'm just going to uh, spend a few words about uh, what's the, uh, where the music we are going to uh, we are going to hear today is is, uh, uh, is coming from. Uh, what, what we are going to, to do here is actually do some data sonification example, a music uh, way to, uh, to look at the, uh, the scientific data, uh, a music way to uh, analyze, uh, analyze information, if you, if you like. The great idea behind sonification is that virtually everything can be turned into, um, into music. So you can take any kind of information and you can generate uh, melodies and you can generate artistic pieces out of it. So uh, what we're uh, we going to do today uh, is actually play some music which has been composed taking the, uh, the tweets between 11 and today Pacific time uh, and um, using the, uh, the machinery I'm going to show you in a second uh, that be, uh, became uh, melodies and then melodies have been arranged and, uh, and a music piece has been created. So the algorithm behind is really, really simple. We are associating to each note of the alphabet a music, sorry, each letter of the alphabet a music note. So for example, you have an S and you have a note, you have a T and you have a note, and since T is following S, you have a higher note uh, representing T than uh, the one representing the S. And the duration of the note has been um, uh, has been associated in the way that consonants are during half of duration of the of the vowels. So you know that's a, that's a uh, a way to to present what we are going to do today. We take some text and we are creating a real music score um, out of it. Uh, and that's just an example. For example, this is the uh, the sentence "cats are fluffy," and you can see the the music which is coming. Uh, and you can see that the same letter A is associated to the same, to very same musical notes. And I've just had a couple of examples here, just to show what the sentences are looking like and what is the, uh, the, the piece of score that we are getting from, uh, from this process. Well, so our demo today, uh, so we are doing sonification of tweets that are tagged with the um, SC11 uh, hashtag 
from 11 to, um, uh, to 12 actually. Um, so the text is, co is collected here, then is sent through Synet, Internet 2, uh, giant, to the uh, European grid infrastructure. Uh, then the European grid infrastructure runs uh, our, an original grid enabled certification package, so the text is converted into music. And going exactly the same way, it is going back to, the, uh, uh, to Seattle here. The melody is then being arranged here locally and then play through the, uh, through the loudspeakers. And that's just a representation about where the, um, the data is, is going through from Seattle to Europe, processed thanks to the EGI, and back to Seattle again. So we are, we are going uh, back and forth from uh, US to Europe uh, to create this musical piece today. And those are some of the tweets that, that I've used. So you are going to see some, some of those things uh, converted into, um, uh, into music. Uh, for example, if, if you look at the first one, it says inside HPC, inside HPC. And uh, I'm going to show you in a second what this become, is going to become in, uh, uh, once it is converted into, into score. Uh, that's the uh, interface we've used to send the, the data here to, to Europe and to submit our grid job onto the um, EGI um, grid infrastructure. This is just the proof that the, the uh, sonification job has been submitted to the uh, European grid. And that's what we got back. So this is such, that's the inside HPC. And you can see it is repeated twice, once here, and that's the second one. So you got inside HPC, inside HPC, exactly as, we, um, as the Twitter um, messages were, um, were actually saying. So this is the, uh, the music score we got back from, uh, from Europe. And what I did here was simply associating some NAS musical instruments to have a playable piece here. And so <clears throat> that's just a screenshot of the, uh, of the final arrangement uh, that, that we got. And so what I'm going to do now is just playing, uh, playing this music so that you, know, you can see what the uh, what the people uh, that tweeted about IC11 during that hour um, <coughs> are sounding like. So, I'm ready here. <coughs> 